And that should be it for now. So you have to save this, close it, make sure you hit yes on save changes, and then reopen it. I'm, I'm not sure why Brawlbox is like that. You have to reopen it for the textures to apply. Now, if I did this right, and I did, the textures should be applied. Looks like crap, but that's okay. And okay. So, now I am going to get into uh, the other models. Blah, blah, blah. Import this platform thing. Again, change the textures to this. This one only has two. One should be here, two should be there. It's not always like that, but whatever. Just using the same textures, but you you really don't have to. And save. So, uh, platform should be in there. Is it? I'm not sure. Should be, really. Ah, yeah, there it is. Don't think this is the texture it uses in game, but it might be. Again, doesn't have to be. So, uh, rest of the bones, or models. Yeah, rest of the models. Just gonna need the block. Actually, if you want two things using the same texture, you can export the model, then just import that one instead. Block one, I think. Yeah. And it's good. Make sure you change the bone name. You can't have two of the same name, or they will always go to the same positions. The model's names don't really matter, except for organization purposes. And the 2D model. Uh, forget where I put this one. Uh, I'm using an older version of the pack but yours should include the same basic 2D file. Um, oh yes. Not gonna make that use a smiley face, just I'll import whatever. Let's see what I have. Pretty sure I have uh, let's just do a picture of the Triforce. Again, uh, CMPR format. Even if it's transparent, CMPR. Very important. Now for this, I'm not going to change the texture name. Just note that if this has textures too, you have to change that as well. So, yeah, that. And that should be all the models. Save the progress. And now make an animation. A character animation. Um, right click on the model data, do new, character animation. Doesn't have to be named anything, you can only have one per model data. Oh, so, make sure you take note of that. 
now. Just gonna go around changing the... Gonna select the animation, select the bone, uh, move the bone down by... move the block down by 10, uh, make it a bit bigger, uh, scale X I think, 6, sure, whatever. Looks terrible, but whatever. Doesn't have to be the friggin' Mona Lisa. It's just a an example stage. And uh block two pretty much do the same process. Gonna move this over to translation um, X negative twenty. scale of 2, translation y of 20, 40 maybe, and then 2d can just stay where it is probably. Oh, but uh, note for the 2d model, it is very complicated, and you will want to make all of these keyframes. To do that, do this copy, this paste, on all the bones. And... I guess you'll want to get the same positions in the regular model editors, so to do that, just do this copy, unselect the animation, and do that paste. If you're using more than one bone, you'll want to use uh, this copy and this paste, but actually, no, I don't think you can actually do that and, um, when you're not selecting an animation, so never mind. Last one. Er, actually, I didn't change anything on this one, so it should be fine to just leave it. But if you change anything, you have to make those changes. So this is what the stage looks like. A uh, complete abomination. And now just for editing the uh, collisions of the stage. Just gonna do really rough ones. Probably won't look very good in game. Floating stuff, you'll want to take time to refine that. Wacko Alpaca also has a tutorial on editing collisions like this. I suggest you check his YouTube channel out. Just search Wacko Alpaca. Uh, he'll be the one with the brawl tutorials. Fall through. really tedious part here. I'll just leave that like half done. And that should be about it. So yeah, that's a guide to stage builder block based stages. I'm 404 error. Thanks for watching.